All right, we got breaking news in the sports world this morning. It appears LeBron James has agreed to a two-year deal with the Lakers. According to ESPN and The Athletic, the deal is reportedly worth $104 million. And KCAL Sports Insider Mike Hill is joining us now with more. Good to see you. Good Give us you your take Mike. on this. Hey, good to see you guys. Uh, my take is this is news only in the sense that it's happening right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Here's the thing. This is not a shock whatsoever. As soon as the Lakers made Bronny James the 55th, overall pick in the 2024 NBA draft, we knew that LeBron James was going to be with the LA Lakers. We just didn't know how much money he was going to actually take. It's $104 million over two years. Now, he has an option for the 25-26 season, which means that he can opt out of his contract after this year so we could be right back in this spot next season with LeBron James as a free agent, depending on how the Lakers are. Now, there were reports that was coming out uh, before he signed this contract, going into free agency, that LeBron was thinking about giving the Lakers a discount of sorts so that they can improve their team. Well, that really hasn't happened. They don't have that much uh, cap flexibility right now. But the reason why he may have taken the entire uh, amount of money for the two-year deal, $104 million, is because there really isn't any good free agents out there left. They wanted James Harden. James Harden stayed with the Clippers. They wanted Jonas Valanciunas. Jonas Valanciunas went off to the uh, Washington Wizards. And they wanted Klay Thompson. And Klay Thompson, of course, from the Golden State Warriors, he went on to sign with the Dallas Mavericks. So there really isn't a great free agent out there right now for the Lakers to sign to improve their team. And if you look over the course of free agency this season with the Lakers in this offseason, they really haven't improved their team a lot at all. Mm. And they did resign LeBron James, which is a start, of course, because he's still one of the best players in the NBA, a 20-time uh, All-NBA performer, 14-time first-team uh, uh, All-NBA. Of course, he made an All-Star team again uh, last year, his 20th overall. He's one of the greatest basketball players of all time, if not the greatest basketball player of all time. But they really haven't improved their roster outside of getting J.J. Redick as their head coach. Now, we'll see if that actually improves their basketball team because mm -hmm. we don't know how good of a coach J.J. Redick is because J.J. Redick has never coached before. Right? right. So outside of that, <laughs> they have Max Christie that they resigned, and, of course, their two draft picks and Bronny James, who's the 55th overall pick. They got a lot of um, – uh, Lee Way, a lot of talk, uh, of mm -hmm. course, because he uh, he uh, actually signed with the team. Uh, he's going to sign with the team eventually uh, on a rookie contract. Uh, and uh, he uh, spoke to the media yesterday. We'll talk about that a little bit later on uh, in, in the hour. Uh, and they also got Dalton Connect, who is a rookie out of Tennessee. Now, I like that pick. Okay. Nobody's talking a lot about that. I think that's the steal of the draft. So outside of LeBron James re-signing and Dalton Connect coming to the team, how good of a team – are the Lakers actually going to dress in 2024? Now, mm. the fans are happy because they got LeBron James back. Sure, of They course. got Anthony Davis back. Once again, J.J. Reddick, we'll see. But are the Laker fans truly happy right now because they really did not improve their team, which needed improvement because they barely made the playoffs last mm. year uh, going into the play It's a cool game. story, though. It's it a is. Story. I'm, you know, I'm here for you guys early in the yeah. morning or whatever. Yeah, it's a good story. We'll talk more about the <laughs> Bronny James, LeBron James situation. I know? can tell how you really feel about it. You know what? You know I'm not even that into sports, but I am very excited to see LeBron and Bronny play together. Oh, yeah, everybody, so everybody's excited about that. <laughs> we'll actually talk about that at 745. I'm coming back because Bronny James actually spoke to the media yesterday. Awesome. And it's interesting what J.J. Reddick actually had to say about the Lakers drafting Bronny James, which is getting a lot of uh, talk right now. Yeah. Okay. All right, Mike. Thank okay. you. Looking right. forward to it. Bit.